Hey guys, what's up, one and only? My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Today, we're back over at the, uh, what, what do we call it? The low income area. It's sort of the crime heavy area. Uh, we've got the gun store right nearby. We've got Grove Street from Grand Theft Auto. Uh, very sort of community based, but maybe some sort of gang wars are going on uh, in this area. We're going to do this today, right? We're going to build this burnt down house. There's a plan for this like with a little burnt down tree and stuff. Uh, we're going to do that today. But I would also like to expand it. I'm going to leave this, but I don't know what I'm doing here. This might end up being a little road that leads to another little housing estate at the back here. Or it might be access to the school field, because this is the high school, so the school field could be here. Don't know yet. That's why I'm leaving. That's why I don't know what I'm doing there. But on this... Oh, hiccups. <laughs> on this side, uh, we've got like a little T-junction that we built ages ago uh, for more houses to go in this area. Backing onto the basketball courts, the skate park and stuff. And that'll really then tie the houses to everywhere else, which would be perfect. Now, I think that we've got enough houses here... And it's diverse enough that we can cheat. Because you know how much I like cheating. And I think we can just select some houses. And we can copy the copy and paste houses uh, from here or from there. Over into that spot. And maybe even here. Because there's definitely some uh, room for two houses here. And maybe even down the side here. And sort of get them onto here. I don't know. Why not? Uh, really squeeze a load of houses in here. And, and fill the whole lot out. But to start off with, let's try... And build a burnt down house. I've never built a burnt down house before. It's uh, I've never really even seen a burnt down house. Uh, I think we're going to go with some dark woods here. To look a little bit sort of charcoal. Maybe yeah. Maybe even some black on the floor. Where it's like the wood's gone to charcoal. The wooden parts of the house. Um, you know my silly would actually be really cool. Because it looks like burnt grass. But it, it spreads doesn't it. And uh, that might not be the uh, the greatest of ideas. Uh, maybe a bit of obsidian looks like coal on the floor. Uh, I think soul sound looks a little bit too mushy. Um, maybe a little bit of just grey. It's it's so brown to me. I don't know why they call that grey. They call that grey and they call that cyan. It's like, what? <laughs> ah, coal block. Maybe coal block is better than the black wool that we had. It's a little bit subtler. It's got a little bit more texture on it. And we're probably also going to want... Ooh, cupped lock. <laughs> what stairs as well and I think that should be enough sort of brownie feel enough for us so let's start off let's replace all of these with wood first I think wood's going to be more of the block that we use and the site and the clay will be more of a ground block or, or a detail block so we put this in here right and that's the floor plan of the house now we want to have a little bit of structure here to make it look like it was once a house. So for example, we're going to probably want to put uh, a window in like this. And then that would be the corner. I'll sort of leave, a, leave that like that. And I'll probably put another window in like this. And maybe a start of a window there. And like a bit of a window there. And like one there. Okay. Have that one sort of overhanging. Uh, it'll probably be a two-story house to make it look like a small burn down. So we'll sort of put a bit of edging on there. That would go around the next window. We'd have like that. Oops, too high. That goes there. Maybe this one is just like a little bit of some remnants there. And then that one goes around that. So we're trying to build a house that's broken. And that's not something I'm used to doing. Okay, we we'll do something like that. Uh, okay, now I think that's pretty good for like remnants of a house. But for a little bit more detail, if we put some stairs in, it looks like some parts are sort of missing, but some are still there. So we sort of do some some bits like this, some bits like that. It looks like a little bit's missing out of there. Maybe do a little chunk like that. So it's just like a little part's been sort of burnt out. That sort of gets rid of the staircase that we had going on. Maybe something like that, and it sort of fell out a little bit like there couple of windows in that part maybe also that one and i don't like that one this one just sort of supports that and lines that up we'll have that one that way and then slabs as well probably a good idea now i know we're doing it all in the same block at the moment we'll switch those out afterwards on parts so we'll have some slabs on some sections like this uh, and now the roof 
How do we do the roof? Is the roof completely burnt out? If it is, we want to uh, still give an impression of where it used to be. So we're going to want to have, like, replace this. And like that. And like that. Which I think would be about where the roof would have been, right? Something like that. And maybe we have a little bit left over on it. So we use some spruce here. Let's just hang it over like it would have been. Just like a little bit like that. And then maybe a little bit missing from that side. So you can see that's sort of the way the roof used to be. Maybe... Uh, Let's use a different block now. Let's use some of this stuff. Like these are the, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, beams, like the wooden beams that go through. There's a sort of charred and a bit left over. Uh, we'll do some bits on the floor. Where they've sort of burnt and they've fell. Like that. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, right? Um, glass, uh, black stained glass, so it looks like it's sort of been burned out. We'll just put some glass, not on all of them, just in some of them, that sort of makes sense. I like that, it looks like half the window smashed. Uh, like that, oh, I can't do that. I don't like it how it's across, so we'll remove that one. So there's some glass just sort of remaining in there, but it's sort of burnt and cracked and a bit, uh, a bit bad. Let's change some of these walls out. Oh, I love that. Don't like that. I like it that way. To some stairs. Doesn't matter if they're pointing inside or outside. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this is cool, man. This is a this is like a really fun little exercise that you can do on your by yourself. Like in your own world, so just try and sort of build it and add more and more detail. I like that. Now let's try and add some other colour in there. We'll just see what it looks like. We might not like it. So like these lighter colours are the sort of less burnt parts. And we probably want less burnt parts to be at the bottom. Because we're sort of imagining that this fire started maybe uh, quite high up in the building. Like in a bedroom or something like that. Maybe it was like a, like a Molotov cocktail thrown uh, through a bedroom window. That sort of feeling. So there's sort of more at the bottom. I really like how it sort of matches with the roof. And then on the inside here. Let's grab like a. F yeah. Mm, I suppose you would have probably had wooden floors in. I already had that block. So these are going to be uh, the uh, floor boards. But then we're going to mix a lot of black in there. A lot of coal blocks. Maybe even some obsidian in there. Obsidian's got like a little bit of a purple hue to me. So it might not work quite as well. See, does that look purple to you? Like, I lo that's black. That's purple, in my opinion. Okay, we'll just use a coal then. So, very burnt on the floor here. Obviously, it, it's fe it fell through. A uh, little bits of flame and wood burnt, fell through here. And really sort of scorched up this part. I don't like that one. So that's cool. And then we'll do a little bit on the outside as well. Does pods all spread? You know, that might be the dumbest question, but I cannot remember for the life of me if pods all spread. Maybe some dead bushes. Oh, what are they called? Bush? They're just called bush. Yeah. Bush. Are they? Is there only one bush? One, de one dead bush? You can't place dead bush on grass anymore? Or was it on, on... I put it on Podzol. Okay, that's fine then. Um, I'm sure Podzol doesn't spread. I'm having a bit of a brain fart moment. So Podzol looks like sort of uh, the grass has been scorched a little bit. So we're going to surround some parts here with Podzol. But it also allows us, like we just found out, to place dead bushes on. Like they were like plants or flowers or whatever, but they've been, uh, they've been burnt away. Also need to work on that tree a little bit more. I think that was just sort of a placeholder to remind us. Oops. So just a few dead bushes about the place. Really contrast. Because although these houses are like low income and stuff. And they're small. They're actually quite nice aren't they? They're very clean. Very nicely painted and stuff. That looks so cool. Okay. 
Um, some black, more black around the outside. That's what we need. So the fences and stuff is already broken, so we don't need to break the fences around the front here. That's cool. I like that around the back. Uh, and then around here, we do a little bit of that. And what if we get... See, this is like an oak tree, yeah? This was probably an oak tree at one point. So if we get like a dark wood, like dark oak wood, it should look like just oak, but scorched or burnt, and it sort of fell. Yeah. I don't like it connected to the fences there. So I'm just trying to do some like some some logs that have fallen from the tree and burnt down there, so they're, they're a little bit darker. That's cool. Maybe even burn the tops of some of these as well. Uh, like that. So the tops being sort of scorched. You know, I, I really like that. It's like a little mini build project. If you imagine we're in a helicopter, right? There's a... There's a fire at uh, Grove Street. No, near Grove Street. I don't know what the next... <laughs> I don't know what the next road is. We'll just call it Grove Street. There's a fire at Grove Street. Uh, firefighters are on their way. Quite handy with the uh, fire station only being there. Surprising that it burnt down that much being uh, next door to the fire station. I'm sure they would probably have some words about that. That looks cool, though. You know, up in the air, you can tell it's a burnt house. Anyway... Anyway, we spent far too long doing that. Uh, we now need to grab some houses here and try and hopefully cheat to get them in other parts of this area. So if we grab that one, we make sure we grab all of the edge of the buildings and stuff. Uh, there might be a little bit of clean up required afterwards, depending on if we grab parts that we don't really want to grab. If I stand right here, which is the same level as the um, windowsill slabs parts, and the door is facing that way. So if I want it to be... I don't know where I'd want this one. I don't think... That's probably not enough room there. I could probably get it in the middle here. Well, let's give it a go. Rotate 90. Now I need to go down a block. Because that was up a slab. And I have no idea if this is going to work. Oops. I grabbed just the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should have saw that one coming. We'll go up here. I uh, just want a block. Give me a block. There we go. I'll stand here at the corner of the building. Copy. That's better. 858 blocks as opposed to 143. Should have really spotted that. Should have really knew something was up then. Um, I'd really like to get two of these in. Two, two buildings in here. So I'm going to squeeze this like along here. Paste. Oh, I've done it again. Undo. That's what he wrecked something though. Rotate 90 and then paste minus A. Okay, so it just goes into that pillar a little bit, but you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world. I can sort of re put the pillar in here. Strangely enough. It won't actually be that bad. You're never going to notice that the pillar's actually in it. So we sort of forced... Oops. Forced the building in there. And then we'd want another one to go here. Like a small one. What's a really small one? There aren't too many small ones. The two-story ones couldn't, won't be able to fit underneath. Uh, that one's pretty small. Let's grab that sucker. Oops, uh, I need to go either that way. Grab that one then. That'll work fine. Make sure we grip the top this time. Oops. <laughs> select, select, select. That one. And that one. Stand at this corner again. Now we're facing, this house is facing the opposite way to the last one. So we need to rotate it by minus 90 this time in order to get it in. It might get into that tree a little bit as well. Rotate minus 90 and then paste minus air blocks. Oh, it's placed it actually on the right. I didn't break the slab below me and it still got it right. That's handy. Ugh. Well, I'm getting a little bit of lag at the minute. Something's going on. Okay, 
Uh, so it's just... I need to move it over by one. Undo. Go over by one. Just go down here. Make it a little bit easier. So now we get that little one block gap between the buildings that we like to have. And around this side, trees there. You know what? It's actually swallowed the whole tree. So we might as well remove it. Replace in like trees and details and stuff afterwards. I don't think we're far enough away from those buildings that you're never going to know that we've taken from them uh, and sort of replaced them. Okay, a little bit of gravel. Just to go down in there. Uh, maybe a stone brick for this one. you got a lamppost right in your driveway, buddy. <laughs> I ain't going to move it. Uh, so, yeah, we need, like, leaves and stuff to dress up the, around the edges of them. Um, but, yeah, I can get some two-story ones in here. Underneath here is a little bit limited on space. In fact, I think we could probably get... Um, a crossroads here right because that's very deep for the buildings so i reckon if we uh if we put do a little crossroads here we might be able to squeeze like another building in it um in fact i could probably use that same building that i just copied uh where is it rotate rotate 90 and then paste. See this one in here. Uh, I'm going to do it with this block this time. The stone goes right up to it. Uh, I should really probably back it off a block as well. Let's 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 back it off by a couple of blocks here, uh, just so we can get a little bit of a fence on this one. Uh, oops. Undo up here, and then go over here. That's better. Like that. So I can get a little bit of a fence going on there. Uh, boom. Straight through the bridge. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm really not that bothered. Surprisingly, I'm not that bothered. I. It's not going to really affect us at all. You're never going to notice that. It still looks absolutely fine. From both sides. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's grab some two-story houses. Um, let's grab... I quite like this one. So we'll grab... And let's grab the fence as well. <laughs> Just saves us doing it when we get to the other side. Now this one's going to take a little bit of this wall as uh, as well, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let me make sure we get all of that. That's something we need to go out there. That one. And sound at the front door because it just makes stuff easier. Copy. Now I don't think we would even probably have to rotate this. We could leave this facing the same angle, but if we do rotate it, it's going to be harder to know that it's copied. So we, I think we will rotate it minus 90 and we paste it here the door was on the right hand side we'll just bring it back a couple of blocks we paste it there you know what that sort of works on the edge there a little bit of fence i'll just leave that wall in there for now that's cool even got a little bit of bushes with it saves us a bit, little bit of time i like that it does not touching any of the uh oh i didn't take the top um, it's not touching any of the bridges this time. We've got a gap around it all. It fits underneath nicely. See, this adds to when we like dry. It's anything that you do. You might not think it affects much, but it affects everything. Like we can now see this house when we're driving along the road, and stuff you can see down over the bridge under there. It just fills up so much like, like void area. It's really really cool. Okay, um, what other one would we want? This one's a really nice house. That's a bit too big, I think. Ooh, that one. That one right there. It's nice and thin, small form factor. Let me grab that corner. Let me go up here. Oh, yeah, this was that extra bit on the side, wasn't it? 
so there. Find the front door. Copy. Uh, so the door's like basically in the middle and it's facing out east of the city. So if I rotate it by 180, I could get it on the, this road. Rotate by 180. That's right in the middle, so I need to leave a little bit on either side. We'll go about here. Yeah, it's good, but I just need to move it back. How much room have I got to move back? Oh, a few blocks. Okay, we, we've got plenty of room. Undo. Let's go back a little bit. And paste. Nice amount of room on that side. Nice bit of room for the other uh, front. I even got a little bit of a back garden for them. Let's gravel this up. I'm just putting it in so I know like where entrances and stuff are for the people. Like that. Okay, I reckon we can fit two more in here. I reckon we can fit one there and one there. And that'll be about it. I don't think I can fit another house in there. So, two small little houses. Uh, where do I want them? Two, one. And two. I wonder if we can just take these two houses as they are next to each other. Let's take... That will take the ground. We'll take the leaves as well. Make sure we get that bottom block. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to, but what we might have to do is shorten this building, which shouldn't be a problem either. Okay, I think that's got the top of that building. Oh, but we need to get the back of the building. It's just going to take a little bit of the tree as well. I'm cool with that. A double cheat. We thought one cheat was good. <laughs> How about two? Uh, let's go, I'm going to go over to this corner here to copy this one instead of the door. And I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees because we want to complete facing completely the opposite direction. Then if we go as close as we can to this part, uh, set it back a couple of blocks and paste. We've got that one and this one. I th yeah, that's what I thought. I thought we might have to shrink this building. That's if we want hang on or we re take away the crossroads and then this geezer can have a long driveway or, or pathway like that that works pretty well Put that one in this one in yeah so we've got another one two three four five houses six seven we added seven houses today in absolutely no time at all and built a burnt down house i think that's pretty successful so there's a little bit of sort of doing up to do here hedges fences and stuff like that just to really give it their personal touch but i really really like this if we go to like if i go over there and i sort of try and look underneath the bridge at a distance it should look like pretty full now see that's all that's all full there if we go down we can see like little houses there i can see see the bridge gets in the way. everything gets in the way of each other but yeah there's houses like everywhere now hey really cool we're starting to even out the amount of sort of um commercial buildings to residential buildings because like for a while we had so many like commercial buildings and stuff that you'd never be able to fill them all but all of these little houses these are houses can fit like one or two families in them um you know we've got uh actual apartment skyscrapers now so i think this city balance wise could probably work all right guys we're gonna leave it there if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already feel free to subscribe we should see you in the next episode bye